all all you have to do is you you just get to come into the conference room and watch me squirm <laughs> because the, all the conversation is about me and that's exactly right and that's and and i'm like you know but that's the, perfect uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know anywhere else on earth that you can go for two weeks to focus in on the most important thing in your life, which are the eternal gifts that we take with us, our relationships with God and with um, the one we're married to and with our children. We've been through train terrain before. Our first train terrain was 17 years ago. We had one child. Now we have four. 17 years ago when I first came in the door, my oldest son, who's now 20, was three years old. Anna suggested that we come to do a train to rain. And I looked at her and I said, you want me to take two weeks off of work, not get paid, and come pay money to be a part of a program for two weeks on marriage and parenting? I mean, we're doing fine. This is my attitude, right? And so I come in the door and Larry looks at me and he's like, well, he's like, you know, you've got a, you've got a good marriage. You've, your, your boy, he's a good boy. And he said, is that all you want? And he said it to me with that look like Larry gives you, where you know that he's seeing something more than what you can see. And that really cracked the layer of pride that I had about like who I was and what I had together. So the responsibility falls here. And I think the, the message in the world is so strong towards men, like you're worthless, you don't have anything to, to give, sit down. And Larry calls that out and he says, inside of every man is a little boy. And that little boy has to grow up. Um, our children are looking for us to take initiative. The husband of my wife, the father of my children, um, is, is imperative. And I think it's been a refreshment for me in that to say, no, I'm, I have things, I still have things to do. It's nice to be here with your kids because you've got other people who have their eyes with the specific intention. They're looking for how to help you grow, how to overcome some things, and what are some of the root issues. We're here with people surrounding us to help us yeah, and to see those page. things. And I think the kids have felt that too. Zeke is 10, uh, Olivia is 14, Gabe is 16. Uh, to watch them have the opportunity to set goals for themselves instead of like when they were younger, you know, we would tell them what we expect of them, but to give them that ownership to say, here's something I want to work in. And Zeke said that he wanted to work on his self-control. It was great for him to recognize that and take ownership in that. It's been a maturing process for him as a 10-year-old to grow into a place of greater leadership um, and grow up as a young man. I would tell anyone, whether you have a healthy family or your family is just really hurting, mm -hmm. come. Get over here, open your heart, make yourself available, don't hold on to anything and enjoy it and open your ears and your heart and hear, hear what God has to say. Mm -hmm.